Tell us your name, man. Man, um, three time now. <laughs> We came to H2O knowing that I would have to put some rear tires on the G8. Um, you know, one one too many burnouts. And uh, so we were hoping that we would find a, a tire shop around here that would be willing to do a pretty aggressive stretch. Uh, we were putting 245, 35s on a set of 20s. Uh, they were 11 inches wide and uh, we knew that it was going to be pretty rough. Uh, they were carbon fiber sidewall, run flats. Um, nowhere around our area would touch them. And we knew that coming down here, we would have to find some kind of mom and pop hole in the wall shop that would be willing to do some experimenting to get them on for me. Uh, we came across this tire shop who uh, was very willing to jump at the opportunity. Um, the owner was really cool. Uh, we, we heard, you know, we heard that he had some experience stretching tires and uh, was willing to do it for a pretty good price. So we immediately jumped on the opportunity. Uh, my name is Jason Rahm. I run Blue Lab Tire Shop. We stretch tires, we do tires, anything that has to do with tires. From four inches to tractor trailers, we'll do it. How'd you get into the tire business? Um, actually my grandpa, um, came over with seven dollars in his pocket. All baggage, all my uncles and aunts, everything. And, uh, we actually opened a tire shop and went from a tire shop to basically owning every tire shop on 113, 13 hotels from one tire shop. Uh, we, we came over from Pakistan. What, and, uh, what area of Pakistan? Islamabad. So, it, I mean, I don't know if it's going to film, but it, it actually goes in deeper. I mean, so basically we're Christians in a 98% Muslim country. So it was like survival of the fittest. And like, we pretty much went for the best to go to America and try. You know what I mean? With seven dollars in their pocket, and and the outcome was, thank God, like it became, you know what I mean, good for everybody. We learned how to do business and interact with people, hey. and just become Jay. into business. So, let's go ahead, cut. <laughs> and we pretty much lived with each other to build our money like instead of renting four or five houses there was five houses living in one and then we went from three of those guys making money into one tire shop and from one tire shop we went to eight tire shops from eight we went to 16 and about eight motels and hotels and it's been you know a run around for about 35 years we've been running this shop which is the longest shop we had and it's like anything that comes to us we're gonna try it i mean if it's 11 inch wide 12 inch wide we had 225 we're gonna it, it just bothers us that we can't do it so we're gonna do anything that we need to do to make it to, to make, for people to know that we're the shot that could do the impossible. Like, so, so why don't you tell me a little bit about the process that you used for the G8 tires? Oh man, oh man, true. Start, it, start, start with day one. It was actually a two day process, which, which I mean, first day, I'm like, man, I stretch tires. You know what I mean? I'm the guy to come to, people come to me. I'm like, hey, stretch tires. You know what I mean? I, I do a markup where it's like, and $20, I'm stretching tires for $20, you know what I mean? And I do it easily, like I do it, I mean, I might be eating cake with one finger, you know what I mean? Blowing <laughs> a cheetah, I mean, we, we, we do it for fun, you know? And then my man Grant came to me, actually, Grant's uh, boy came to me, Jesse, and was like, can you guys stretch 11 tires, 11 inch tires? 
And I'm like, dude, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm like, whatever, we'll do it, no problem. You know what I mean? And I, and I thought it was gonna be that day, but they came the next day. I told my crew, I'm like, hey, look, you see that G8 coming down the highway? We're about to stretch some tires. They pulled up, we're like, hey, nothing. I mean, we took, we jacked the car off in like 30 seconds, dismounted the tires, put the tire on the rim in literally 45 seconds, and thought, cheetah, boom, just like any other job. Which, which, you know, I really thought would be a simple job because I'm used to it. But we go into this and uh, we basically had to get three cheetahs. I don't know if you guys know what cheetahs are, but three cheetahs that are blowing 150 PCSI at each cheetah and did not work. So we tried a whole, we used ether three times. I blew the hair off my leg <laughs> once. There's no hair there. I don't know if you guys see it. No hair. Ether three times. Stressful day. I thought, the, actually, out of eight years, the most stressful day of my life. So, next day, I'm like, look, my boy Grant, I'm like, oh, look, Grant, I'm not going to be happy until I air these up. You know what I mean? So, the next day, I'm like, yo, I'm going to air these up. Early in the morning, my crew comes in. They're like, yo, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. I'm like, no, our job is to stretch these tires on these rims right now i'll give you guys a little bit of a hint we did some other stuff that could only take masterminds to come out of <laughs> we did a 20 inch rim stretched onto an 11 inch wide rim with 245 a lot of gap guys we had to put a 24 inch tire on top of that 20 with three guys on top of it with pressure from a bar putting that rim down three of us jumping one guy hit a cheetah with another guy blasting it i mean it's gotta take a crew to do it you got four crew that can relate into your guys perspective that's the only way you're gonna get it perfect perfect so at the end of the day you got it on both of them you got both of them on yeah we did we did <laughs> yeah it was a challenge for us that we didn't want to give up like it was like if we couldn't do this i mean we can't do it but then who are we to say we can't do it we're the shop that says if you can't do it, come to us. You know what I mean? If you can't do it, you gotta come to us. Cause we will do it for you. So, if it takes a day or two, we'll do it. So what do you think about all of the car guys coming into town for H2O? Man, they showed they showed mad love, man. They showed us mad love. I mean, we stretched their tires and I felt mad love for me stretching them for them and they actually showed more hospitality than I thought I was giving them and I mean we're chilling actually right now at the H2O's house they got like 40 cars out here I mean I thought I was pulling up with BMs and doing something with 6 BM pulling up but I mean they showed us a different type of you know car guys car group that stick together i mean for two days i mean we bonded we ate we ate we drank we chilled man i can't say nothing but love for these guys man perfect perfect man well hey thank you so much for stretching yeah. thank you thank you thank you it's Beautiful. good to have you guys here so it was uh, it was definitely a uh, an experience and that's why i love you know doing doing this and you know doing goon squad stuff you know we, we've created this this amazing family and, and along the way we meet these incredible people like like this tire shop owner who just went above and beyond to help us um, he worked on my rear tires for the better part of six hours yesterday 
and uh, a few hours this morning to get them on for me so we could make it in time for H2O. Did some really innovative stuff to get everything for me. And at the end of the day, uh, the bill didn't even hit 100 bucks. So very, very happy, very pleased with the experience. And, uh, you know, hopefully this video will help him out and you guys can see some quality work. So. How'd that go again? <laughs> Can you see them or no? Yeah. The dogs are funny. Hi.